Hey guys, welcome back. You're in the den with Randy again. On a beautiful Friday evening. Uh, everything's winding down after a crazy New Year's. And go to do some desoldering. Got some issues. Uh, I got no heat. Uh, not really sure what's going on. Looks like I got a little bit of a frayed wire going on here. On the board it is unplugged, so you don't have to scare you. Uh, see right down in here, we got some frying. Uh, not sure what's going on with that, but doing some voltage checks, and I got no voltage going to. Basically, we got two resistor, our resistor line here, uh, which is in line with that. That's just basically the thermal couple. Uh, it's a feedback, and here's our negative and our positive to our thermal couple, which is basically our heater for our element to heat it up and I got nothing working the lights on nobody's home so uh, I'm gonna dig into this a little bit I'll show you I got nothing going on for voltages here even if I plug it in then DC hope you guys can read that all right that's yeah, showing up a little better. I am praying that for my camera's sake that it doesn't come out with another narrow video because I'm going to lose my mind if it does that again. I have no idea why it keeps doing that to me. But basically it's super frustrating and I might be looking for a new phone slash camera if it pulls that one again because I can't figure it out and it's really annoying. So, I'll deal with it the way I deal with things that very much annoy me after a long time, is I end their life. But, that's beside the point. Maybe I'll get lucky. So, here we go. We're plugged in. We got action. And, should have... I'll tell you what. I'll get a mirror... So you can actually see then that I'm not just making up the whole bit about having the light on. Actually show it to you. This fancy mirror action here. See how this works. Hey, look at that. Can you see it? It's on. Woohoo. <laughs> fancy stuff going on here. Big time freaking technology going on in here, I tell you. Uh, basically where I'm at, so, uh, we're on DC volts, positive, negative, always backwards, that's just how it goes. Got nobody home. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I got zero volts going to my line. Line in, which snakes up and feeds into here. And again, the two, uh, white ones here are going to be, I actually marked that one black so I can keep it separate if I do desolder that one. Um, if I get a new tip, it'll come with all four wires that have to be spotted back in and I want to make sure that I get them right. But anyways, get this thing out of here. I guess I can unplug that. You guys got to see that it works. So, I don't know. I'm figuring it's something to do with the board. I've looked at all kinds of videos. I can't find anything that deals with it. Are you kidding me now? Am I going to freaking snap? Not in the mood right now. So, unplug that so I don't get zapped. Because if I get zapped, I'll absolutely snap. I'm not in the mood for getting zapped today. At least this evening. But anyways... We're warming up some the fancy old solder pump, old faithful here. Tell you, this thing's done a lot of work in its days. Give me some, some good old leaded. Gotta love the leaded. I'll freaking eat this stuff. It's love it. So good. And I gotta pull them wires. And I'm going to pull the whole thing and see. I'm probably going to actually take the tip off and strip the thing right out. I'm, doesn't come out without the, uh, I think is what's going on here, is they pinched it in. Again, I'm unplugged so I don't get zapped and snap. 
Uh, if you look right here, right here, you'll see a dimple right where my thumbnail is, and another dimple down in here. Uh, so you take the tip off, and it's still nothing moves out. The heater element don't come out or anything like that. So I believe that it's them are just punched in there to hold the whole unit together. So I'll probably actually drill them out. Looks like there's one, two, three, three of them. Yep, three is the magic number. Get them punched out and uh, probably pull the unit and figure out why. It hasn't been used all that much, um, but figure out why it's not working. Oh, and also uh, to pull the board, you actually got to take out, I'm guessing, the potentiometer ones. I haven't seen anyone show it yet, but uh, it will not come out. Oh. Ugh. It does not want to come out with that hooked up, and I even pulled the pulled the sticker on the other side, the temperature sticker, to make sure that uh, there's not a screw under it. And it looks like there would be, but there actually isn't. So it's got to be. I'm figuring this is holding it down. You can see a spot down in here where it's dished out to fit the little meter. So. Oh, man, this is acting like it's lead-free solder. I hope not. There, that's a little better. And get the board out and start testing the elements. All right. Is that going to come out? No, I'm still acting like one more holding it here. Good old faithful here, I tell you. This thing has been nice. Cheap, too. Freaking, I'd say an eighth of the price of this. That'd be about right. That's about, come out to 95, so about 100 bucks all together. And this thing was about 15, I believe. 15 bucks, so. Something like that. I don't understand why that board does not want to come out. Oh, there we go. These guys are sticking yet. Man, there's still got to be something else holding it up. I don't get it. How much can there be holding it in? Really? I see one, two there. The two screws are out. There's screws here and here. 